<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Opex wasn't planning on making a video today, but here I am, stuck. Not stuck like you think though. I'm not stuck, I'm just waiting. And therefore I'm stuck. There's a truck, I don't know how well you can see it. There's a truck that's stuck. And uh, even above that, past the cops up there, there's a wrecker, or not a wrecker, sorry. There's a semi-truck that jackknifed, and now they've got to get a wrecker out to get that truck out of the way. And yeah, part of the fun. So I just started e-logs today. First day, December 26th. Just started e-logs, and here we are. Watching my time dwindle. I have less than two hours left on my clock, I think, or something like that. Started my clock at about, meh. Got to the truck around 6. Woke up at 5 a.m., got to the truck about 6. Got out here. And it wasn't until I passed Buffalo, where I started seeing signs everywhere saying, no commercial vehicles going down I-90 in, in Pennsylvania. I thought, what? What do you mean? It's better than going any other route. I gotta tell you, they are terrible at cleaning roads in Pennsylvania, or at least in this area of Pennsylvania. But that's where I am right now, stuck in PA. I went from uh, Rochester, New York to Utica to wherever the fuck I am now in Erie, Pennsylvania. On the other side, I'm two miles away from I-90, and now they're letting vehicles on the road, but I'm stuck two miles away from being able to be free. But yeah, it's all part of the fun. They're trying to get these trucks out of there, and then I can move up there and not jackknife because I'm a professional. So a little story about what's been going on with me today. Couldn't go on I-90, so I had to reroute. I went up 20, yeah, US-20 going through Erie, Pennsylvania. So they wouldn't let anybody go on I-90. Rerouted uh, the 20, made it up there. It's all right, you know, you go 30 miles an hour, no one's cleaning the roads. And then all of a sudden, boom. Go under a pass on a bridge that was 13.7 or something. And all of a sudden we're at a complete stop. Four wheelers are all turning around and getting stuck. I'm like, oh no, because I started making it into the city here. And uh, so the first thing I do is just wait. Oh, well, they're going to figure shit out. Uh, the truck in front of me is stopped completely under the bridge as well. So we're both under a bridge in, on US 20. The left side's blocked off because another lady's blocking it off because the everyone in front of them are in a ditch. <laughs> they're all stuck. So I wait, eh, total of four or five minutes, you know, just waited, thought, meh, they'll pull themselves out or something, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I get out, I look in front of me, nobody's helping these cars, nobody. So what do I do? I put on my gloves, I get out there, and I start pushing these cars. I go in reverse, go forward, put the wheel over here, start pushing these vehicles, so I'm pushing these vehicles. They're brain dead people. Obviously, that's why they got stuck. And uh, I ended up getting three tr three cars out of there. Get the three cars out. I tell the UPS driver, "Hey, you're up first. I'm behind you. Then we do the cars in the next lane over." So we finally get that happening. The UPS driver goes up and then gets over the hill. He made it fine. He made it through the light and everything. Then I wait for it to go green. So I'm like, okay, green light. I can't stop at all. If I stop, I'm fucked. I make it up the hill. And then I stop at the light. Because I could have went through because there wasn't much traffic. I could have bullied my way in, in the intersection. But I decided not to. I barely, barely have traction. And I ended up bullying myself out of the snow. I had to put my... Uh, uh, whatever the hell that's called again. I always forget that shit. I had to put that on. I had to put my shit in performance mode. I had to do some shit. 
and wiggle my way out of it. Got out almost instantly. Meh, five, six seconds. I get out. And I go through and then um, I get up a little ways and there's a hill. Just as is is uh, much great as the other hill, but longer. It's a longer hill to get up there. Flatbed stuck. Flatbed behind him, brainless. Then the UPS driver behind him. I pull up on the side of him, block traffic. What do I do? I get out. I'm like, hey, you using the thing that pushes eight fucking drives? I always forget what it's called, so I apologize. And he goes, yeah, I'm using it, but he wasn't using it. And then he uses it, and he's like, oh, I'm stuck still. And I'm like, okay, I, I see what's going on. So I, I go to the truck behind him. I say, hey, you need to back the fuck up. You can't just keep doing this and letting him. You have 20 feet, at least 20 feet, he can back up and move. But you you keep not doing anything. You're not helping him. You're not doing anything to help the situation. You're just smoking your cigarette. So I have him back up. I, I basically had to force the guy to back up. Finally get the dude to back up. The guy behind him finally gets able to get in reverse a little bit. Got enough traction and started going up the hill. Great. He gets up the hill. I'm impatient at these motherfuckers because I'm helping everybody and everyone's being douchebags. So I get up the hill and I go past the uh, flatbed. I basically like stole the, you know, it, it wasn't my turn to go, but I, I stole it because these, these guys are idiots. I get up the hill. I see people helping all their cars and stuff. Okay. You know, I don't have to stop and help them. Great get up to the next point and this is that next point boom I get out of the truck I go up to the cop I'm like hey is he stuck he goes oh there's a wrecker uh, uh, I said it again there's a truck up there that's jackknifed into the into a ditch or something and I'm like oh no can I get up there I'm like no how about this guy why is this guy halfway up the hill he goes oh we we keep making him go down and then go up. So, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. He's stuck there. You're not letting him move. He's halfway up the hill. He has to come down. I told the guy, he goes, fucking right here. Pull, pull him right in front of my truck. And we'll go up the hill. Cop goes, no, we can't let you do that. Okay, well, there's a road right there. Can I fucking go on that road? No, you can't go down that road. This road right up there at that corner. I don't know if you can see it. Before the truck, um, I don't know if you can see anything on that. Before the truck, there's a road that goes off to the left. He goes, nope, it's too bendy for you. What? It's too bendy? Is there is there too much snow? No, it's just it's just, it's just too bendy for the road conditions. I'm like, okay, so you're not letting me do that either. He said, yep, we're not letting anybody go through here. Until this wrecker um, pulls these trucks out. Including the guy that's on the hill right here. So this is two wrecker calls. And then I assured the guy, you don't have to call no fucking wrecker for me. I'm getting up this damn hill. But uh, yeah, two miles away from I-90. And this shit's going on. Y'all understand why I was complaining about these e-logs. Because now I'm going to be stuck here all night. Right here. Right here where I shouldn't be. Going to be late for my fucking appointment. E-logs. It's all thanks to E-logs. No, it's it's terrible weather up here. It's a terrible blizzard. I've been playing Superman all day. Trying to push cars. In fact, my back is killing me. You know, I think I definitely pulled something. And I'm doing vapes again, so I apologize for that. I am doing vapes again because I get bored. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more videos coming soon. Um, I'm trying to see how far... Okay, this is only a 10 minute video. There's a lot more content coming soon, probably starting tomorrow. Sorry I've been not doing much with uh, the channel. I haven't forgot about you guys. I got tons of content. Uh, just been busy, you know. Been doing my own thing, but I'm back. So expect a lot more content, a lot more Mind of Opex type uh, quality. And who knows, maybe I can start some doing some skits on the side. I have family members that are begging me to do some videos with them. And 
we'll see. We'll see where, where my channel goes, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. I never do these kind of videos, as you already know. If you're new to my channel, you don't know that, but if you've been around for at least a month, you know, you, you definitely know I don't do these kind of uh, vlogs. I hate vlogs. It's just mindless. But uh, I thought it was a little entertaining that that's my day today. First day of e-logs, and I'm already uh, going to have a DOT violation. First day, DOT violation. <laughs> or I can stay here for eight hours. Something like that, right? All right, guys, that's enough for this video. Stay tuned for more content. OPEX, I'm out.